Friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Well, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys a handful of books um, that we have here. And actually, you probably have several hundred books right now. And at one point in time, I, I had several thousand books. Um, but with as much moving as I've done during my life, it was too much to keep them all. So anyway, I wanted to go into some specific ones that we have here. And then in the future, I'll probably actually go in and share like chapters with you on some of these. So this one right here is the U.S. Air Force Survival Handbook. So it's a portable and essential guide to staying alive. Shelter, nutrition, navigation, evasion, psychology, equipment, injury, and illness. And uh, this, this is pretty intense. And this is the actual manual it's it's done like a study guide that you're going to be tested on it's actually very cool there's uh lots of things in there there you can see there's things on braiding and tying rope different knots felling trees there's actually a whole bunch there's there's info in here on how to steal believe it or not how to steal and to evade capture so you know there's everything you could think of in here Making teepees. Clothing and survival. Look, dealing with local people. So, you know, a lot of this is about, you know, what happens if your plane gets shot down. And, you know, you may be behind enemy lines. Maybe you're not. But irregardless, maybe you're somewhere off in the woods. How do you survive? And so there's so much in this. It's really uh, a treasure trove of info. It gets into all sorts of stuff. You know, how much water per day per person. You know, based on activity as well. Various plants. Different animals you might encounter in different areas, cutting saplings, all sorts of different types of possibilities for making shelter. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome, really. Lots of stuff in there. So over here, let's hope we never have to see or use this, but you just don't know. And with the feelings that so many people are getting right now, and um, you know, you're better, you're better off knowing. And so this is nuclear war survival skills, life-saving nuclear facts, and self-help instructions. And um, you know, again, a treasure trove of all sorts of info with you know lots of pictures to give you good illustrations. You know, as far as getting down into the ground, all sorts of stuff, different masks, protection against fallout, obviously, minimizing heat losses from head and neck. It gets into a lot of survival um, situations, expedient shelter furnishings, shelter sanitation, preventive medicine. lighting so many different things water obviously fanning to ventilation shelters barrier shielding sky shine And something that's very important there too as far as fallout patterns being aware of them dangers from nuclear weapons myth and facts so there's a lot there too and over here we have extreme survival what to do when disaster strikes in the outdoors in the city and uh, also in the home. 
So how to survive on land, water, in the air, any climate, and harsh terrain as well. And what makes some of these books so good is basically, you know, they have a lot of illustrations. This is on emergency escape possibilities, paratrooper role, all stuff, you know, basically taught in martial arts, deal with sexual assaults, frontal attacks. You know, so it has a lot of self-defense there. Working with bones and sticks, making a knife from a bone, making a grass mattress, tools and equipment. I mean, lots of good stuff in here as well. Making a solar still, further ways to find and treat water, using a filter straw. So much, you know, so think about it. When the internet goes down, you know, and when the grid's gone, the books are going to be the only thing you're going to have available. This is a book all about organic gardening. This is the Everything Guide to Foraging. Identifying, harvesting, and cooking nature's wild fruits and veggies. This is the Edible Wild Plants. A North American field guide to over 200 natural foods. And uh, when you get one, you want one that's going to have really good photos. So, I mean, this one has great photos. Very clear, easily distinguishable. It shows you where things are located. What it looks like. You know, because honestly, it's, it, you could die if you eat the wrong thing. Quite simply put, and uh, it'll give you some uses for it. This is a really, really good guide. And this is one that's um, small enough to be something that you just put in your backpack, your bug out bag. So a really good one. And this is just one example of cookbook, but you're going to want some cookbooks unless you're, you know, somebody that has a wide variety of recipes or you're good at winging it. Um, you know, honestly, it's cooking is something I love. So I love to cook. I was thinking about being a chef when I was back in high school. And so this is just one of my study, study books that I've poured through through the years. And this is Memler's Structure and Function of the Human Body. Not a bad idea, even if you're not um, in the health field, you know, and, and you're not a, um, a healthcare worker, it's still a really good idea to just understand how the body works, the systems and everything. You know, basic stuff, but think about it. Think about it. You know, you might have one person in your family, you know, in your group that maybe they're a nurse. You know, maybe they're a doctor, you know, maybe they're a massage therapist or, you know, they, a physical therapist, something like that. And they have a good understanding. But what if something happens to them? And what about the other people? And they don't really, you know, have a good basic understanding of how the body works and there's emergencies. It's a great idea, you know, to have books like this. And I have tons of them. This one is a prescription for herbal healing. And it's a, a reference guide, A to Z, hundreds of common disorders and their herbal remedies. So things like this are, are again, a must. And right next to it, we have prescription for nutritional healing. So again, you know, it's, it's another A to Z reference guide, drug-free remedies using vitamins, minerals, herbs, and food supplements. And then we have the Encyclopedia of Healing Therapies. And again, you know, just basically it, it's a, an encyclopedia. It's a glance at different things. Some details given as well. And lots of self-care. Um, Getting into different conditions, like influenza, pneumonia. Alternative therapies, things like that you could do, Chinese medicine, and uh, of course, maps, 
definitely local maps you're going to want as well as maybe some expanded maps to areas that you might end up going to if you're bugging out so you know hence we have everything local and we do have one on Colorado as well and I have some on New Mexico as well in more depth and uh, over here ham, ra ham radio for dummies we're gonna have to be able to communicate you know after the grid comes down as well and this is just uh, best remedies again amazing antidotes and fighting toxins a manual for protecting your family community and workplace and these are just you know some of um, the books that I have I probably have uh, gosh I don't know how many books on Chinese medicine energy work uh, as well I mean literally maybe 50 to 100 um, you know depending on what you are into and what you're interested in but these were ones I thought you know cover some of the basics and of course there's more there's going to be more you're always adding to I have more on the way now as well and so these these two right here the Air Force survival handbook and the nuclear war survival skills are uh, two of the newest ones I just added to the library and we'll be pouring over and there's many many more coming as well uh, because, you know, I, I really, truly believe that we're, you know, getting down to the, uh, down to the wire. It really feels like that. So, my friends, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas, and we could look into some things in depth, and we will, in upcoming videos as well, getting into some of the circumstances, conditions, and uh, things we could do for each different condition as well. So I wanted to share this with you guys, give you guys some ideas, um, because as we said, you know, things are moving fast now and they feel um, there's an urgency. Yeah, there's an urgency that so many people are feeling. So again, you know, no panic, just preparing and uh, no fear. And we will get through this, especially we'll get through this better if we're always trying to pick each other up and give each other positive ideas of things to do. So, you know, again, be ready for when you can't just simply Google things. Have, have actual books on hand. So, my friends, as always, thumbs up to support the channel. Please do subscribe, click the bell, share with as many people as possible. And as always, I look forward to your comments. God bless, my friends. Stay safe. Namaste.